And we, we basically at this point have one more day of the 110 degree plus weather, and then we're going to start to see it slide down and in a big way this weekend. But yeah. uh, fire danger is still going to be with us certainly Saturday and Sunday, especially through California, as we do have some thunderstorms we're tracking. Any lightning could, of course, spark some fire. So I want to get you all set up and ready to go for what we're dealing with now, what's coming tomorrow, and of course, the next couple of days. And uh, you may have noticed it just a little bit. Numbers are down from those all time record setting highs we had yesterday. Instead of 110 plus around Concord, you're currently at 102. So that is better. We we're up to that 113 in Livermore yesterday. Right now, 103. San Jose also was at 109. So that 96 is is better for you. We have a little bit of fog at the coastline and that coastal breeze has really helped to push down our temperatures. Now here's the deal as we move through tomorrow. Uh, what we're going to see happen is the area of high pressure in this cooler air that we had today off to the north. It's going to kind of reset itself, get refocused. It's not going to be in our favor because that area of high pressure is going to move back on top of California. But here's the thing in case you missed this earlier, tomorrow will be the last day of 110 degree plus weather in my forecast. So we got a little bit more to go here and then we're going to get you all out of this. So this means as we started off for tomorrow morning, temperatures will be warm. We have been used to this plenty of 70s over the South Bay Peninsula and the Tri Valley. One spot in the 60s, though, will be San Francisco in the North Bay because of that cool ocean breeze and just a little bit of isolated fog near San Francisco and the immediate coastline. So daytime highs tomorrow warm up a solid 5 to 10 degrees and puts us back into that really dangerous category. This would mean down into San Jose, we're at 105 Gilroy 110. It gets to critical levels again. Livermore, Antioch, Concord, Walnut Creek down to Pleasanton. We're at that 110 plus category, even out to Oakland, a dangerous 95 for your standards through the peninsula. 101 in Redwood City. Maybe you got the day off. Coast wouldn't be a bad spot. 75 and Half Moon Bay, San Francisco. I have 88 in downtown 77 the outer sunset and the North Bay 112 Clear Lake 109 Novato 96 here in Mill Valley. So I hear you guys. I'm feeling it too. We all want those colder temperatures and everything I'm seeing right now shows Saturday and Sunday a dramatic drop for us. We're going to see this chillier system develop offshore, so that's going to really sink temperatures down. But the way the circulation is setting up, it'll actually pull in moisture remnants from Hurricane K. So we're going to have clouds, humidity, also some lightning chances. Now the best possibility of rainfall goes towards central Southern California. Uh, some big totals. So part of this would help the fire danger a half inch or more. But if we get some dry lightning sparking in here around central or northern California, that's where that fire danger would increase. But uh, nonetheless, definitely some strange weather coming our way. Here's Hurricane K winds at 100 miles per hour. I'll show you the current track. Look at how close it gets to southern California coastline that kind of curves around and then weakens once we hit Saturday and Sunday's forecast. So on my seven day, we do have the possibility here some isolated thunderstorms on Sunday. Look at that down to 69 on Sunday. That is better. And you'll see for the inland valleys. 90 on Sunday, <laughs> 87 on Monday's forecast. Next week looks way. I know, but even 90, 90 seems so like hot. a break after all know, this. From 116 Crazy. to 90, that's a big difference. It's yeah. been brutal. But we yeah. are looking forward to 90s. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're, we're almost to the other side. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck.